Hi Providence students, uh, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to be talking about learning how to sight read and learning the different layers we need in order to learn music we're not familiar with. So we're going to need our book, our red standard of excellence book, a pencil and paper for taking notes, a metronome, and of course your instrument, and let's get started. We're going to be using page 33, number 143, Just Fine, as an example. This is one of your end of the year project songs, so if this is one that you've chosen, you're in luck. You get an extra lesson on this one today. Uh, the first thing that we do when we look at music that we're not familiar with is we say the rhythm out loud with a metronome. What is the benefit of a metronome? A metronome keeps time for you. The most important thing you want to get correct when learning new music the first time is our rhythm. Time and time again, I have had students, and myself in the past, have had to relearn something because I didn't work with a metronome the first time. The printed tempo on Just Fine is moderato. That is our performance tempo. Moderato is about 110. When we start learning, we want to learn slower. So our tempo that we're going to be taking today is quarter equals 80. We're going to say our rhythm with the metronome using our rhythm syllables. Just as review, a dotted quarter note is the syllable tom, T-O-M. So let's audiate our rhythms together. Our metronome again is set at quarter equals 80 and let's go. The next learning layer is to audiate with a metronome like we just did and add conducting on top of that. So, the time signature for just fine is common time. Again, common time is 4 4 time. I'm going to be using a couple terms here, okay? When I say in, I'm talking about the center of your body. When I say out, I mean away from your body. To conduct in 4 4 time, I need you to put your right hand in front of you. And we're going to be in neutral position. For beat one, we go down. Beat two, we go in. Beat three, we go out. And beat four, we go up. Again, down, in, out, up. So let's try that with the metronome just a couple times. Remember, one, two, ready, and down, in, out, up, down, in, out, up, down, in, out, up, down, in, out, up. Why do we do this on top of saying our rhythm? It's to add in another layer. So we're not playing our instrument yet, but we're not doing the thing that we just did. We're adding in another layer. And it involves getting out of our face right in the book and including our body. Our rhythm is not just heard, it's felt. So let's include our, let's include our body and conduct and sing our rhythm at the same time. Down and out, up. You can do it. One, two, ready, and. Tom, ti, ta, ta, tom. Ti, 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 tom. Ti, ta, ta, tom. Ti, 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 tom. Ti, ta, ta, tom. Ti, 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 tom. Ti, ta, ta, 
T, 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 toe. So it might take a little while to get coordinated there, but as soon as you got it, it's like riding a bike, you'll never forget it. Okay, for our third layer, we're going to be playing that entire song on one note. Again, we're focusing on rhythm, and we're going to be playing, we're going to be adding in our instrument, but not the full notes yet. So how do you pick which note to play? Well, look at the key signature. Look at the first note and the last note. The key signature, one flat, concert F, or one sharp if you're playing trumpet, okay? Concert F major, and we have one, uh, we're starting on a concert F and ending on a concert F, so we better play F. We're still going to be at quarter equals 80 with our metronome, and we're going to play it now on our instrument using concert F. You notice there that I may have played some articulations that you see on the page, right? There are a couple times you see slurs, and I hope that you heard me playing those articulations a little bit differently than the notes that aren't slurred. In addition to just playing the rhythm on one note, I want you to include things like the articulation. Next layer is to play our music as it's written on the page. Still with the metronome, still at quarter equals 80. So let's do that. One, two, ready. <laughs> Now, in your practice, if you find that if you find that you're not feeling 100% ready to play the whole thing, maybe try a couple measures at a time. And once you've mastered those measures, move on to the next couple and the next couple until you've played the whole thing. We're still not at performance tempo. How do we do that? Once you master the music at quarter equals 80, turn it up by five clicks till 85. And then 90, 95, 100, 105, and 110 is our performance tempo. Here is what just fine sounds like at performance tempo, quarter equals 110. One, two, ready. <laughs> And there you have it, sight reading tips and uh, how to learn in layers. Why do we do this? Why do we use these layers? It's to help you learn music independently. This summer, when we don't have school, when we don't have band videos or specialist videos to follow every week, we're going to be wanting to practice still, but wanting to practice music that we haven't necessarily played before. So. I want you to feel confident when you learn new music. Please try and use these layers and find a piece in your book this week that you haven't played and try it out. Happy practicing this week.